Remember that time Disney World and Universal went head to head? Walt Disney World versus Universal. Let's get into it. Today we are going to be talking about a topic that I think is a pretty hot topic. Isn't this topic too controversial? Today we are talking about the age old rivalry. Theme park versus theme park. I think people are gonna fight. Who would win in a fist fight if they were anthropomorphic? The Hatfields and the McCoys. Mouse versus globe. You might be surprised at what we're about to say. I'm just saying. Because we are talking about Walt Disney World versus Universal. It's, it's a smackdown. I personally don't just believe, but know and have an understanding that Walt Disney World is better. I am a Disney person through and through. I am a Disney adult. I know that. I've accepted that about myself. However, don't count Universal out. I think you know where I stand. You can probably figure it out. You just think about everything I've ever spoken. Bottle caps everywhere. And what kid doesn't love bottle caps? I do prefer to go to Universal for fun right now. Depends on the day. Depends on how much I'd like to drink. Uh, depends on if I'm feeling thrill or magic because they are different. As a local, as someone who lives here, I'd rather go to Universal. Now granted, I work at Disney a lot more often, but also Disney's more stressful, where Universal is just chill and fun and a good time. So, I think Disney still wins for me, but Universal's pretty, you know, Universal's got some better bits. I stand firmly in the Walt Disney World camp which is ironic because I adore Universal, love it, but I, I'm a Disney kid. One of the ways that you can compare Disney to Universal is based on the rides. Rides aren't the be all end all of whether a theme park is worth your time, but for a lot of people, that's one of the reasons that they're coming. If I were to describe the rides at Disney World, they are family friendly. Artistry, artistry. That's the word that comes to mind when I think about Walt Disney World rides, artistry. I would say family friendly, wholesome, theming, happy, whimsical. The rides of Disney World are incredibly varied. Like there are a lot of different kinds of rides. There's dark rides and roller coasters and boat rides and simulator rides and little movies. That's not a ride, but um, there's shows that are rides like Carousel of Progress. My favorite ride in Disney World, ah, that's such a hard question. The nostalgia in me wants to say living with the land, but I gotta be honest with you, I adore Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. It's just such a fantastic ride. I really love Cosmic Rewind right now. I literally get on that ride and just like cackle and enjoy myself and I love it. My favorite ride in Disney World is Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Um, it's my favorite ride in the world. Right now, my favorite ride at Disney is Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind because it is new, it's fun, it's a super smooth coaster. My favorite ride in Disney World is actually Carousel of Progress. I think that most people go on Carousel of Progress to get out of the heat <laughs> and have a rest where they can just sit and be inside and enjoy some air conditioning, maybe nod off a little bit. Listen, I'm not judging you, I understand. But Carousel of Progress is just near and dear to my heart. It is the ride that I have to go on every single time that I go to Disney World. If I had to describe the rides at Universal, I would say bigger, faster, bolder, adult. Screens, 3D, and motion sickness. That's all you're gonna get at Universal, baby. The best thing you're gonna get there is a seat that violently thrashes you around while you do your best to look at visuals that appear to have been made on a computer that was made in 2008. But Universal's got coasters. And I don't mean like Disney coasters, I mean coaster coasters. Universal's got like, this roller coaster will make your eyelashes go like backwards. Universal has some big kid rides. Like if that's how I'm describing it, Disney is more family friendly. Universal has a couple of those, but like they're catering towards the big kids. They got big kid rides over there. In Universal, my favorite ride is Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. I went on that ride back in 2012. So not too long after it had first premiered. 
that was my first time going on a ride at a theme park that was that immersive. The Hagrid's is definitely my favorite. That coaster is so fun. I mean, I'm giddy on that ride. Like I feel myself just like laughing and gasping and just being very excited to go on it every single time. Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure has so many surprises and story elements and there's just so much going on and it's just fun. The Lost Coaster is way more thrilling than Hagrid's, but every time I go to Universal, I'll ride the Lost Coaster and then I read Hagrid's and then I get off of Hagrid's and I'm like, oh my gosh, that was so much better than the Lost Coaster. So, Disney wins. They have that good mix of all the different kinds of rides that different people like. Universal has better thrill rides. Disney World has better storytelling rides. Disney World absolutely has the better rides. I hope no one on our team tries to say that Universal has better rides because if they do, I am gonna need to have words with them. It depends on who you're asking. It depends on what kind of ride you're looking for. Have you seen the shaman? In Pandora? I'm gonna call them on the phone and say, are you okay? Because things don't seem right about you lately. You're asking us a question I genuinely don't think is answerable because I feel like these are two different categories, two different, like, just even, it's like comparing apples and oranges, what you're asking me to do right now. Ooh, theming. So another integral part of any theme park is the theming. It's in the name. Disney theming is just boss. It's over the top. Theming at Walt Disney World is on a whole different level. Theming is the one thing that I do believe Disney does best out of anybody in the entire world. Uh, everything is themed within an inch of its life. Crisp, clear, clean. You never have to worry about anything in Walt Disney World. For everything from the, the cement in the floor to the walls, they make sure that you see what they want you to see. Their whole thing is theming. Their whole thing is storytelling. The theming's amazing. Except for Tomorrowland. <laughs> Tomorrowland's rough and needs help. Depending on where you are, theming can be really, really great or theming can be we tried. Just fully immersive and fully cared for and fully passionate is Walt Disney World's theming. The best themed part of Disney World. Hands down, the best themed part of Disney World is Pandora. It just is. Pandora is so beautiful. It is exquisite. It is themed so perfectly. The Imagineers took their time to get it right. I think Adventureland and Frontierland are pretty impeccable. Um, I think that there are amazing things about World Showcase and Epcot. I think that Main Street USA has better theming than other areas. Even places like Pandora or Galaxy's Edge that people might think would be the best theming. But it's easy to theme an area after a franchise or movie that already exists because you can kind of just take what's going on there. Main Street USA is an idea, it's a concept, it's something that has been in our cultural lexicon for most of the United States modern era. And I think that it really, they were, they were able to capture that feeling. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge in Hollywood Studios. Super immersive theming, very, very detailed. Everything was very thought out, except for the transition between Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and Toy Story Land. Like I'll say it. What is that, Disney? The theming at Universal. Universal has gotten better. <laughs> like sections of Universal theming, I would describe as immaculate, as beautiful, as detailed. And then like the rest of Universal, I would say half given effort. It's kind of there. We have to remember Disney has been around for a hundred years. Happy anniversary, Disney, a hundred years. Universal Studios, not so much. Universal is less about theming. Like for instance, if you're standing in Seuss Landing, you can see the Lost Continent. It feels like you're in like a theme park, not in one dedicated place. The best theme park of Walt Disney Road is all the Harry Potter stuff. I mean, we've just gotta be honest. Diagon Alley is absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous. It is beautiful. It is perfect. I would say aspects of it are definitely better than anything that you'll find in a Disney theme park, but they're so inconsistent. 
Like walking into Diagon Alley for the very first time ever. Stepping into Diagon Alley is a jaw dropping experience. It is so amazing to be in that space, the reveal of Diagon Alley when you walk in there. Like that was an experience. It gives me chills every time, every time. Every time I go, and I go all the time, I'm like, oh, it's so cool. And honestly, there's not a land in Disney World that does that for me. <gasps> There's no question here, Disney has better theming. It is not something that you can put up to debate. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter is amazing. It cannot hold a candle to four different immaculately themed theme parks. There is no, ooh, again, hard question. Debating this topic. When it comes to theming, Walt Disney World, baby, you won. You are Miss United States of America. You won the pageant. You won the beauty contest, okay? You won the presidency. Maybe Epic Universe, if they are able to create the whole park with the level of artistry that, you know, they use to create the Harry Potter lands. We're talking overall like Disney World versus Universal. Disney World's got Universal beat on theming. Like that's not even really a conversation. So Disney wins. <laughs> Disney wins 100% in the theming department. But Diagon Alley might be a better themed land than any land in Disney World. So it's like, they've got the best themed land, Disney's got better theming overall. Everything has a reason, everything has a purpose, and Disney does theming best, hands down. Uh, food. Food is important. Half the time we're going to theme parks, it's not just for the rides, we're going to eat. And we love food. We love food over here. We want that Instagrammable, delicious, quirky food that you can only find at theme parks. We love Disney food. Which is gonna get a little dicey because they both have pretty darn good options. We also love people who blog about Disney food. <laughs> What I love about the food choices at Disney World is that there's something for everybody. The food at Disney is varied and it's not just varied in the different types of cuisines, but it's also varied in the styles of service that they have. We love to talk about the best and the worst and even the worst restaurants like Tony's Town Square. I would rather eat at Tony's Town Square any day of the week before some of the restaurants that are considered the best of Universal. Magic Kingdom's food, not great. I'm not a big fan of Magic Kingdom food. I don't like that the best thing I can eat there is corn dog nuggets and loaded tater tots. Um, I think most of the stalls and like food service kiosks still don't have great options. There's not a lot of variety. I cannot tell you what my favorite food is at Disney World. I love Boma, I love Sana, I love the Boathouse. But then Epcot, you have an international variety of food, just a lot to pick from, and then the festivals that are amazing small plates that you can get for like five bucks each and try a bunch of different stuff. And then Animal Kingdom has like really unique food. I mean, the food in Pandora is like so delicious. I love Satuli Canteen. That is physically impossible for my soul to tell you my favorite food at Disney World. Probably a Ronto wrap. I love a Ronto wrap. Even better is the morning Ronto wrap. They're so good. I love Ohana and their delicious Hawaiian food and the noodles, y'all. The noodles, the noodles. That's not, I can't go through all of that. No. The noodles. I have a lot of favorites in Disney World. Um, one of my top favorites is the grilled vegetable skewer that's at Primo Piatto at the Riviera Resort. But I also love Disney popcorn. Like that's my go-to snack of choice. I bring my popcorn bucket. There were many times, multiple times on my Disney college program where I would eat popcorn for dinner because I would bring my popcorn bucket and I would refill it for $2 and popcorn was my dinner. And I did that multiple times and I loved it. And I think you should too. The food at Universal, I almost would describe like if a 20 year old decided the menu, cheesy, greasy, nacho-y, you know, 
kind of heavy food and I love it. They've got jacket potatoes. Those are so good at the jacket potato stand. I love the English fare at Leaky Cauldron and Three Broomsticks. Florian Fortescue's ice cream is my favorite ice cream that I've ever had anywhere in the entire world in Harry Potter world. There's nothing that calls out to me at Universal, whereas, you know, Galaxy's Edge, Hollywood Studios, I'm getting that Ronto wrap. Love a Ronto wrap. The food in Universal is, they tried. There aren't a lot of places at Universal that have that elevated quality. They do have like some variety, um, like they have Mythos restaurant that has some Mediterranean food and um, Asian food. They have another restaurant that had a little bit of Greek food, but there are a lot of chains at Universal. There's Hard Rock Cafe, Margaritaville, Cowfish. Some of my favorite things to eat at Universal, if I gotta pick something, I would say their butter beer is exquisite. It's, it's there when you get hungry, but there's nothing then I'm like, oh my gosh, you must eat this. Nothing to write home about there. Uh, obviously Disney has the better food. I don't know why we have to keep going over this. Disney is gonna win every single time. Of course Disney World has better food. They have so much more food to offer and it's better. And it's a whole culture around food in Disney World. That doesn't happen at Universal. So of course Disney, I mean, if anyone votes Universal on this, it'll be Quincy, and I'll be surprised. I think their baselines are probably about the same. Like, food wasn't a big thing for theme parks 20 years ago, and now it is. So I think they both have made improvements, but Disney's made more improvements. Ooh, what kind of boom was that? It was like a boom! Last category, entertainment. Ooh, one of my favorite parts about Disney. Entertainment at Disney World is like no other. There's. Broadway caliber performance happening every single day of the week, included in your ticket price at Walt Disney World, especially in Animal Kingdom. They put their whole heart and soul into what they do every single performance. The Festival of the Lion King show at Animal Kingdom, I've seen The Lion King on Broadway and I think it, it can hold its own. Festival of the Lion King especially, the entire show is wildly impressive. Finding Nemo, Big Blue and Beyond, like this incredible stage version of Finding Nemo with original music you can only hear in Animal Kingdom at the theater in the wild. The Dapper Dance, the Main Street Singers, I can go on and on and on and on. The fireworks, the nighttime spectaculars, the entertainment is just, it's just, it's entertainmenting. It's entertainmenting. There used to be more than there is now because there's a lot of things in the Disney parks, live entertainment wise, that Disney had to get rid of due to budget cuts or due to COVID-19 closures and they just haven't brought things back. There's a lot going on in Universal and Disney doesn't necessarily feel as much like that anymore. Like everything is very, very scheduled. And so their street atmosphere doesn't feel as vivacious. Right now, entertainment is fine at Disney World, but it could be better. And I know it could be better because I've seen it be better than it is right now. Universal has some pretty scaled back entertainment. Universal's main focus is found entertainment. Walking through Diagon Alley and then all of a sudden, Celestina and the Warbecks are performing and you, you didn't expect to see them perform, but here, here they are. Um, and it's still really good. It's, they're very quick, they're much smaller, but they're still very talented individuals. There are aspects of entertainment that Universal does well. I think ever since they parted ways with Nickelodeon, it's it's it hasn't been the same level. Nickelodeon really brought a lot of excitement and attention. At Christmas, you've got the Whoville people that come out that are kind of improv actors. You've got the Grinch. For me personally, my favorite show in Universal is, has to be Celestina Warbeck and her Banshees. <laughs> so funny, because I think of Banshees and Pandora. I think the best entertainment is the Frog Choir. And that is almost 100% because when you were growing up watching Harry Potter, like who didn't want to be in that Frog Choir? I will say, however, the, the Jason Bourne stunt show, amazing. That is very, very good. Um, that is the best entertainment in Universal, hands down. This one's not really a true stunt show. Like you have to see the Bourne show. It's like one of the most must do things at Universal. It is so wild. I love that show. I will watch that show every single time I go to Universal. 
Does Disney or Universal have the better entertainment? What you think I'm gonna say? Universal? <laughs> no, baby. No, baby. I'm literally not gonna get in the, into this with you. Disney has the better entertainment. It's just, it's a different level. It's a different passion. It's a different dedication to the entertainment. And it has nothing to do with the people who develop the shows at Universal. They do a beautiful job and they're really wonderful and really well-rounded for 10 minute shows. But I just think that Disney cares a little bit more about the live entertainment aspect of things. And that's why they're better. It's just the production quality is higher. Overall, I'm a Disney girl for life. You can't change that for me. It doesn't matter how many times I love going to Universal and I love going to Universal. It is one of my favorite places to go. But Disney is Disney and you can't mess with that for me. Who's the leader of the club that's made for you and me? So overall, I picked Disney World to win three out of the four categories in this ranking. So for me, Disney World is gonna be better overall. Disney World has better food, they have better entertainment, they have better theming. Disney World has very good rides, some of my favorite rides ever, but Universal is also very good at rides. So depending on what kind of stuff you like at the theme park, Universal could be better for you. Disney. Disney is better. Hello. There's just so much going on there. And there's just, I think what it comes down to is that there is just so much thought and planning and design and just effort and labor and love that goes into Disney World. When it comes down to it, Walt Disney World, you got them beat. You got them beat. <laughs> Why do we have to pick? You don't have to pick one. We just spent this whole episode picking one that was better. You don't have to do that. You can enjoy both. I understand they're in competition, but that's not our business. We can love both Universal and Disney. That sounds like fun to me. I hope that sounds like fun to you. And I can't wait to go to Universal this weekend and eat Florian Fortescue's. And I can't wait to go to Disney World this weekend and ride Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't want a lion coming over to my house, but knocking on my door saying, excuse me, but would you be able to spare a saucer of milk? And I'd be like, ooh, actually, if you talk like that, sir, you're such a gentleman. You sound royal. Come in here. I've got lots of saucers of, I hope you, <laughs> I hope you don't mind. It's, I've got right now in my fridge, almond and oat milk. Well, one of those do, and then he'll be like, ooh, no. Now go watch our episode about Epcot Festival of the Arts.